Hi, this is Troy Dreyer, editor of OnlineVideo.net. We've partnered with VideoAmp to talk to some of the experts at CES about how video marketers can use cross-screen planning effectively. The days of mass reach seem to be behind us. We live in a very fragmented world, so we need solutions that follow the consumers on their journey throughout the day from screen to screen. Cross-screen campaign planning is absolutely critical in today's day and age. And so as you think about the benefits, consumers reach and watch and listen and read content differently across platforms, across time. And so being able to aggregate that up and across so that a marketer can understand how to effectively reach the audience that they're intending to reach is critically important. The benefits of cross-screen campaigns are unifying your audience no matter where they're consuming content. So linear, mobile, connected TV, desktop, um, you're able to, you know, when you're planning for linear, you're able through data connections like a partnership with Experian or Axicom, you're able to bring that, those audiences to your digital campaigns and really enrich the way in which you're messaging and interacting to your, with your audiences. Well, I think the right message on the right screen and be mindful of frequency. We live in a, a uh, ad heavy world. We all know this, we go through it day to day. Uh, we did some research last year with Kantar Miller Brown uh, that shows that uh, nine times is an optimal video frequency to drive home brand message. So being thoughtful about that. Yeah, the tips and strategies that I would give is that make sure that you kind of know the data sets you're using and which to help you make those advertising decisions. Um, many data sets are made available in which to help do cross-screen planning, but some data sets have certain biases or discriminations against viewers, so really vet the data sets you're using. I would say specifically for digital advertisers, they need to keep in mind they're going to pay more. You're looking at a, you know, you're looking at audiences not only on desktop where you may be accustomed to paying slightly lower CPMs. You're looking at a holistic strategy, and that's going to bump up the rates in which you're used to paying. However, you're creating that continuity, and there's a lot more value that you can derive from a more holistic strategy. So don't be afraid to pay a little bit more. Uh, the challenges are just like understanding who we're talking to as they move from screen to screen using uh, device IDs to understand who we're reaching and, and follow them throughout the day. The first is really making sure you have comparable metrics. The second challenge is really aligning all of this data across these platforms and across these touch points and bringing it together in a way that uh, marketers can act upon it during the planning cycle but it can be very predictive of the results that they're getting. And then third, we're seeing a lot of marketers use advanced segments. So understanding that how those advanced segments are getting created so that the seller and the buyer are speaking the same language. Their measurement is fragmented, especially if you're looking at traditional uh, TV, plant, TV buys, they're looking at using their GRP. If it's digital, you know, VPAID is not present in a lot of app environments or CTV, so you may not get the viewability measurement you're used to getting. 